our last episode of Echoes of Wisdom, we met two different types of Zora, the sea and river tribes. Their chiefs were arguing and refused to work together. And then Lord Jabu Jabu showed up and began eating villagers and destroying the village. So we need to sort this all out. Oh, you again, Zelda. Yeah, you can kind of tell we're in a real jam here. My son and Chief Kashara, they're both trapped in this cave. My son wandered off and I'd just come here to find him when Lord Jabu Jabu stormed in. Chief Kashara was nearby during the confusion. She sensed my son was in the cave. She darted inside to make sure he was safe. Then wham, this pile of rubble fell here smack dab in front of the cave. What am I to do? Ooh. Don't worry, keep calm, I've got this. Never met a pile of rocks I couldn't move. Easier said than done. Maybe there's another way inside. He's not gonna hear a word until he moves those rocks. Maybe he'll listen to us if we get this rescue done first. Can we blow up the rocks? I guess not. There's got to be another way inside, though. Okay, he can't move the rocks. There's got to be another way in. Alright, I guess we gotta find our way through from the inside of the cave. Well, that's pretty cool. If we touch those crystals, they light up the cave. That should do it. Oh, we have a new echo that provides light. got bubble kelp. Now that I think about it, there's probably a drink we can get that will help with swimming. Or at least holding our breath. We might need that for the next dungeon. Huh? It's okay, everything's gonna be fine. Help is surely on the way. Mm. You promise? Mm. Hmm? You, the Hylian, did you truly manage to swim through all those monsters? Huh? Yes, quite the capable one, aren't you? <sighs> We'd hope to get out through there. <sighs> I can't take the child into those waters. We need another way out. There is that exit, but it's blocked by a pile of rocks. I can't push it. Uh. I'll never get out of here. Hmm. I'm sorry to ask, Hylian, but is there anything you can do to help? <laughs> Seems like something we can move. Oh, the rocks.
Huh? You move that pile of rocks. Now we might be able to leave this place. Hmm. What is your name, Hylian? Hmm. Zelda, that sounds familiar. Well, you have my thanks. Let's get in there and save your kid. Yes, please. My son, you're safe. What a relief. Drad, what are you doing here? Just paying you back for saving my friend. Wait, Zelda, when did you get here? You're all right, son. Look, we can easily go outside now. You're safe, child. There's nothing to be afraid of. The poor kid's frozen to the fins, too scared for words. How's that? Oh. Wow, much better. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> River Zora music is pure oomph. It'll get anyone's fins back in fighting form. <sighs> Your sound was superior. Huh? I'll admit it, Drad, that performance was magnificent. Who could have guessed that your music could help one of my people? Oh. Don't forget you helped one of mine too, just repaying the debt. I didn't get a chance to say it, but the way you played was great. An honor to hear it. <sighs> well, you know, it was nothing, really. This is kind of awkward, isn't it? We never trade compliments. <laughs> Every now and then, Drad. Huh? How about we put our squabbles aside and try to help each other out? Ooh. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> then we're agreed. And when you and I work together, we're a strong tide that lifts all. Mm. What's that? You need us to perform at Jabu Jabu's den? Your name was Zelda, yes? We're indebted to you, but we must focus on finding Lord Jabu Jabu. Ooh. Zelda might have the right idea, though. Going to his mm -hmm. den... Oh, really? Oh. I saw Lord Jabu Jabu swim back north while you were stuck in here. Could be that he's gotten tired out after his rampage and gone back to his den. Hmm. That would make sense. Lord Jabu Jabu rarely moves around this much. Huh? We will grant your request, Zelda. Let's be on our way immediately. <laughs> we will meet you at Lord Jabu Jabu's den. Thank you for saving my boy. We wish you well in your travels. <laughs> Thanks, Zelda. All right, I guess we got to go up to Lord Jabu Jabu's den and find our way into that rift. Oh, Zelda. <laughs> Lord Jabu Jabu did return here. 
You've got to get through this door, right? We normally perform here to open the way, but it's not so simple now. One of the altars upon which we perform is broken, likely by Jabu Jabu. We can't play together until it's repaired. And both have rubble on them. We have to get the altars ready for us, but how? First things first, I suppose clearing the rubble seems the easiest part. Alright, of course it's not that simple. Have to move these rocks off of the altars and then rebuild the second altar. It looks like this is the bottom right piece. Where's the last piece? Oh wait, it's in the water. Okay, I think I got it. Ah, we can perform now. You helped us out yet again, Zelda. Ooh. We need a little time to set up. You just sit tight and enjoy. Phew. The way they played at Crossflows Plaza wasn't anything like that. Why'd it sound so different? Playing in time with each other, who knew that would be so fun? Kashara, you were fantastic. Well, you weren't half bad either, Drad. Playing in time with each other. I don't get it. They played together last time too. What changed now? But they seem pretty happy. Drad, I'd like to apologize. I've behaved terribly. I hope you can forgive me. Kashara. I feel the same. Sorry for everything. Hi. We didn't mean to hold you up, Zelda. The door is now open. Oh. We'd never have gotten this far without you. We owe you big time. Huh? Let's go in to see Lord Jabu Jabu. Ooh. Yes, together. Lord Jabu Jabu, we ask that you return our friends to us, please. Our friends are very dear to us. Oh, I have an idea. I bet we'd get him in a better mood if we perform like we did earlier. Then let's play our best. Right. He's still angry, that doesn't make sense. Something's a little off here. 
A little. Things have been a lot off ever since he started acting wild. The way that big fish looks, Zelda, it's got to be another imposter from the rift. An imposter? Now that you mention it, it would explain everything. Who said anything about an imposter? That round thing next to Zelda thinks that. Oh right, Drad has been in a rift, he can see me now. I have no idea who you're talking about, but well, I'll take your word for it. Let's show this fake fish you can't mess with the Zora. And I bet giving it a good thumping will fix all our problems too. A fine plan, Drad. Let's all dive on in then. Okay, I guess I gotta jump in. Alright, we're right behind you. Let's go. What's this? We're cut off from Zelda. I can make an entrance into the rift directly behind that big fish. But not until that creature is out of the way. Alright, I guess it's time for a boss fight. I'm thinking we can get it to swallow a bomb somehow. Okay, when it breathes in, we can get it to swallow a bomb, and then I think we can attack it. Let's try this out. Oh, it's moving faster. Okay, it's getting more aggressive on us. Boss, that was terrifying. I'm sorry. Sorry for all of this. Uh. I'm sorry too, Ragma, because you leapt to my defense. Oh. Seeing you safe brings me great joy. Think nothing of it. Hey boss, looks like you and Kashara patched things up. Ooh. Boy, you missed a lot, didn't you? We ended up helping each other out. Huh? We couldn't have done it without Zelda here. Ooh. That's amazing, way to go. Ooh. Yes, delightful. How fortunate that we were gulped down by Lord Jabu Jabu. <laughs> Hmm. 
But if this Lord Jabu Jabu was an imposter, then where in the world is the real one? Hmm, I'm sure he's been swallowed by the rift. Ah, uh, the rift, huh? Then there's not much we can do. But hold on. You saved me, Zelda. Can you rescue Lord Jabu Jabu? Uh. You seem to be our last hope. Please save him if you can. Alright, well that's where we're going to end things. Come see us close this rift next time.